Hey, it's me, Shy, but she ain't so shy, Wilson, and I want to welcome you back to my weekly Monday shows. You can see new segments every Monday, so if you haven't done so already, please click like and subscribe and give a comment down below so I can know what you want to see in reading comments from all of my subscribers. So please make sure to comment down below. Well, you're in for a treat right now. Because we are going to do my first beauty mukbang. Yay! I'm going all natural today. I think that's so important for you ladies and for you men out there. You always have to go all natural. It's always best to go natural. So what I did was I made a banana smoothie. Yes. One cup of almond milk. So wonderful. I'm a milk baby, lasts forever. Then I included a half a banana, well actually a whole banana, but cut in half, so one banana, and one cup of grapes, black grapes, to make this wonderful smoothie. Mm -hmm -hmm. Tastes so good, and you know what? I have to say, all you guys know, I love Coca-Cola. So I didn't know if anything could kind of strain me away from drinking those wonderful Coca-Colas. But this right here, packed full of protein. You can also add things like coconut flakes, mm -hmm, or chia seeds, or even spinach for energy. But this right here, mm, very, very good. Okay, before we start, I want everyone to say hi to my friend Akuna Matata. Say hi. Incorporate her in my hosting segments and who would I be if I didn't include my friend everyone say hi to Akuna Matata my turtle hey babe she wants her cameo today she's feeling a little lonely when you know I leave her offset so I want to bring my animal on set is that okay she's gonna kind of hang out right here and see what we're doing so one more sip real quick mm. I wanted to show you one beauty product I use for my skin. It is wonderful to put on your skin and your body and your feet and your legs and everywhere twice a day, three times a day. It is all natural and it comes from a plant. Does anyone know what it is? You probably do. And to the store to show you a fresh one. I have one in the refrigerator right now. By the way, you can put these in the refrigerator and if you think you're not going to use it right away you can also put these babies in the freezer okay they keep well so aloe vera let me explain oh this is just so wonderful ever have a burn ever come back from having your eyebrows threaded and it's just the skin is really really raw or you might have a cup or a scrape that's healing well aloe vera is wonderful and personal story i used to do a lot of bridal back in the day and i knew one of my friends still friends now and she just has radiant skin and i would always ask her what does she put on her skin this woman is beautiful with makeup and without makeup and she um her mom had an aloe vera plant so you don't always have to just buy these at the store you can go to home depot lowe's stores that have these type of plants um very very easy maintenance and you can pull off a leaf off of your own plant and you can apply it you know where you need to apply it so just wonderful and she just looked radiant and to this day i have to say she is over the age of 47 and her skin is still radiant and it's because in her early 20s and 30s she started using this underneath the eye so this is wonderful to prevent lines wrinkles you can put this on your stretch marks and you can definitely put it on your skin before or after your beauty regimen and it feels so good it smells wonderful when you cut into it and you can also eat this so when you cut it you can always put it in like a little tupperware box container just like this okay and then for the um what you haven't used you can take some saran wrap 
and just wrap it on the ends after you cut this and put this baby in your refrigerator or your freezer and then of course you'll have the one that you cut in here um always put the cut pieces in the refrigerator it should last about four days or so and then you probably have to cut into it a little bit more to refresh it and i'm going to show you right now so i have my cutting board mm. i have my cutting board you always want to cut the end off okay cut the end off so we're going to cut the end off just so the white isn't showing now, even when you cut the end off, as you can see, you still, yo, see how it looks? It's still kind of sticky. So you can very well use that as well. But we're going to go off of the end. So we're probably going to cut. So we're probably going, going to cut this much off. Now, I'm going to show you how easy. Now, you can slice it. If you want, you can slice it like this. You can slice it down the middle. And when you slice it down the middle, then you can rub it on your skin and put it back into your Tupperware. But as you can see, you don't have to have long nails per se, and you can just peel it off with your nails just like this. Ooh, this is a fresh baby too. Now, you're gonna have some fun. You're gonna think you're on Nickelodeon because there's a lot of slime associated with this. But that's a good thing because this is good for your skin and for those of my ladies who might sunburn this summer now you always want to put on spf but after you come out of the sun and you notice you might have a little burn or two a little redness on your face you can definitely carry this in your um, bag with you when you go to the beach and when you're coming off the beach and your little burn, you can just smear this on, just smear it on, and it'll start to work right there. So this is really, really convenient and affordable. So see how easy that was? And then you're just gonna see, see? And then you take it and then you put it on. And this is a good, I mean, this is good for dry hands and it's so many other remedies, see? You can put it everywhere. You can even put it on your arms, put it on your forehead for lines, for wrinkles, definitely under the eyes. And it's okay this time to go on the eyelids. Now, also, you can also eat it. So, you know, who would I be if I didn't kind of, you know, try a little sample? Because I've always wanted to try a sample. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit off of here and I'm going to try it. I am going to be your guinea pig today, people. And I'm going to try this and I am going to tell you how it tastes. Okay, so we have... Now, I don't know how this tastes. <laughs> so I'm kind of putting myself out there. What's up? Just like a shot, 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 shot. Okay. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I made this on. Give me one second. Okay. That was not bad. That was not bad. I do have to say, ooh, oh, I'm getting a little after. Oh, give me a mm. Okay. That was not bad. That was not bad. Everyone, I actually advise you, if you're going to eat a little cube of this, oh, and by the way, you can put this in your smoothie too. So you can hide, you know, the taste by putting your smoothie. It's This totally cleans out your system. And I'm going to put some beneficial um, benefits of aloe vera 
for your skin and body and health down below in the description box just to help you out. So I have to say, eating it, it was a little bitter. I can still kind of taste it on my tongue. It was a little bitter, but it was really smooth going down. So I suggest you make a smoothie out of whatever type of fruit you prefer. So when you eat it the way I ate it, you can have something to wash it down with. You can put this in your little container and you can put saran wrap around the edges or foil if you don't have saran wrap. Put this in your freezer, put this in your refrigerator and you will be okay, variants, using aloe vera for the first time. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day. Say bye, Hakuna, bye.